The latest update to Photoshop CC contains a new feature called Generate. And what Generate does is take the layers that you have in your Photoshop document and it outputs them as individual images, which is kind of neat, especially if you're creating interfaces for use in Animate. And that's what we're going to take a look at in this quick shot. So what I've got here is a uh, typical interface. I've got a little button here that I can use in Animate. I'm going to click it. Uh, there's a leaf in here, as you can see, right here. There's the leaf, and the plan is to have the leaf fall when the button is clicked. So we need to get this get these elements set up in Animate. Now there's a quick, quick way of doing it, and here's how you do it. First off, Generate is now in the File menu, so you can see Generate right there, Image Assets and Edge Reflow Project. I'm not going to select that just yet. And what you need to do is select your layers and convert them to PNG, GIF, or JPEG images. And to do that is really simple. So I'm just going to zoom in on the background layer here and show you how that works. So what you do is you double click on the layer name and you just add in the file extension .jpg for the background image. The leaf is, needs the transparency, so I need the transparency from a PNG image, so it's .png. And the button, which is composed of text and shape layers also needs to sit by itself so I'm going to select it and I'm going to turn that into a PNG image as well. So you just change it to the file extension you need in the layers panel and you're ready to go. Now to get this out of Photoshop as a series of images you go to File, Generate, Image Assets and you can see that not a lot happens but really what happens is that in the Finder, there's the original PSD image, and now there's a folder here called Animate Assets. And if I open it, there's the background JPG and the two PNG images I need. Now what I need to do is get this into Animate, and that's not going to be hard at all. So the first thing I want to do is just change the name of this Animate Assets folder to Images. This is the default name for, the, for Animate. And now I'm going to pop over to Animate. And I'm going to create a brand new document. And the image itself is 800 by 476. So there we go there. Now I'm going to fit this in so we can see everything. And let's zoom it in a little bit. There we go. And now all I have to do is save the file. File, Save As. And I'm going to save to the Animate folder. Right in there, there's the images. And I'm just going to change this one to Interface. Click Save. And there are my images, so all I have to do now is just build the interface. So I just bring the background image in. I'll just zoom in a little bit here again. There we go. And I'm going to put the button in place. So there's the button. There's that PNG image. And again, we got our leaf. So we'll just bring that in. There's the leaf. And I can just move it into position. And if I want to have the leaf fall, all I have to do is give it a motion path, auto orient. Set the XY position, and we'll just have this fall over a couple of seconds. Pull it down. There's my path. And what I want to do is just have it sort of meander out of the image. And if I press Command Return, yeah, I can test this in the browser. And here it comes. And there goes the leaf. So there you go. There's using Photoshop to create interfaces and then get the interface elements out to animate using Generate. And it's real simple. All you have to do is just name the layers, give them the file, the appropriate file extension, file, generate, image assets, and it will out create that folder for you. And you can copy that folder to your Animate project, rename it as images, and you're good to go.